Hello, hello everyone. Hope you're having an excellent day today. We have another haul to look at here at Atlanta Brickco. Let's dive in. We got a bunch of random stuff on the counter as usual. It was quite a busy Sunday. We got some good trade in. We can have a look at it now. Here we have a couple mostly sealed sets, some Black Panther and stuff that was on sale. I think I see some Lightyear down there, some CMFs. And also, it looks like a Dots bracelet and a keychain. So that's pretty fun. Uh, some. Ooh, this is really cool. You got the Lego Masters gift with purchase from Walmart that has the little Lego I'm Masters. Sorry, you, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> sorry about that. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. no, no, I actually have one. I think Steven does too. So this one will probably go out for sale if anyone needs this very cool little mini trophy. Um, and I know that Morgan, one of our regular viewers, had that disc signed by me and Steven, which makes it look kind of cool to get Lego Masters to sign it. Um, you got uh, Magisto's Workshop up here. I think these are the VIP coasters, if I'm not mistaken. So just a bunch of cool little stuff in here. Definitely going to be putting all this out for sale soon. Over here, um, these are relatively new, I believe. A Lego employee, who shall remain nameless, brought these in. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be destroyed. They avoided a trip to the dumpster and made their way here, so they'll be going up um, in our store, I'm guessing. Uh, great gift ideas, kind of spring and Easter themed stuff, so that's pretty fun. Um, those probably aren't for sale, unless you really want them, in which case, let us know. But, I mean, we, we prefer not to sell the signs. We like to put them up. Um, we've got a couple neat built sets here. You got the Sanctum Sanctorum. You got a very cool submarine base, uh, underwater base. You got a TIE fighter back there. I like that TIE fighter. It's a good size. A um, couple of good built sets. Over here, you got some boxes. I don't know if there's any Lego in here. That feels like a box without Lego in it. You got a couple sets there. I see some Ninjago, um, a little bit of Ninja Turtles, and some Nexa Knights. So maybe all the sets from these boxes are beneath there, I believe. It's uh, well out of reach, so I'm having trouble accessing it. Hold on a second. Yep, there's the big Garbodon Shark Mech. Very cool. So I, you can assume that all those sets are built in the box there. Complete sets with figs, as it says on the side. It's got some bulk brick. And some crude lettering, interesting. Look about to be sorted and put in our bulk bins, bigger bricks. Got some disassembled Harry Potter. That'll probably share a similar fate. Maybe we could fix up the spider or a few other things. Those figures will be pulled out and put up for sale. So Harry Potter, always good to see that. You got a Santa's sleigh. Santa has perished. He is no longer here, but um, definitely some good pieces and animals there. You might pull the reindeer out, put the sleigh out for sale if somebody needs one. Um, pretty cool. You got a little limited edition 2012 box. I don't see the build in here. So just the box, interesting. It is a old collectible set though, so we might keep that box for now. Lego City, appears to be re-taped. May or may not be in there. Got a Star Wars planet, a few other little knickknacks in there. I do like this uh, palm tree with those fern pieces, pretty nice. Another winter market stall. I think it was a gift with purchase if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's a crater set. Got a couple gray road plates. These are actually fantastic. Um, they're kind of hard to find since Lego, I don't think they make these anymore. Um, but yeah, so those will be in our base plate selection over there soon. You've got the orchid here. Um, looks pretty complete, but it definitely needs a rebuild. Uh, might be missing a piece or two. We'll probably build that and put it up for sale. Or maybe as is it, because we have the instructions. Might be for sale as is on our website. Ooh, Nexus to Zach will like this one. We've got a Pharaoh's Quest Pyramid. No figures, as I can see so far, but a great build. Um, stickers are well applied, too, which is... Um, usually they're kind of beat up at this point. The stinger on the scorpion is missing, but that's I think that's a relatively easy fix. Uh, got a Ninja Turtles van. Got some Ultra Agents, or excuse me, just Agents, I believe. And uh, a very cool build in here. Garrett was showing me some of the details. It has a cool projector and some other stuff in there. That big truck is pretty insane. It's actually bigger than the Great Pyramid, which is uh, kind of crazy. Moving on, you got some very yellowed um, Star Wars collection. Definitely put in the window and uh, has caused some issues on some of the white sets. The black um, uh, TIE pilot helmet. That is probably gonna be okay. We'll have to make sure there's no yellowing, but that rarely affects black bricks to the same extent as other colors. So that one might be able to clean up and put up for sale, um, which would be great because that's a kind of desirable collectible helmet. The rest of them, especially some of the more yellow pieces, we'll probably put in bulk instead. Over here, got some Lego bags. 
and some Lego pieces. Looks pretty much like bulk. So that'll be emptied out. The bags might be cleaned up and put out for sale. Most of those sets towards the back were there from previous weeks, but I think there's just a few new additions here. I do like that solo speeder is pretty nice. Got another assembly square. We see these fairly often. It's the most common uh, modular building, I believe. And uh, it's good to see. Um, we'll probably put it out for sale built, fix it up just a little bit if we can. I think some of these things got knocked over, disheveled. A little bit of Harry Potter next to it right here. Uh, I think this is, this is the astronomy tower that I just broke a piece off of. I'm not sure. But um, nice little Harry Potter build. It'll go up for sale, I'm assuming. A little bit of Star Wars, more Harry Potter. A bin of small builds and some kind of bulk looking minifigures. Those will probably go and build a fig eventually once they get sorted. Over here, here's something interesting. They don't really look like much, but these are some of the classic ninja sets. They seem relatively complete. I see the horse barding in there. You got the dragon wings, you got the doors, the vines. That's from Orient Expedition, I believe, that book. But um, yeah, some great pieces and stuff in there, some nets and some bigger builds too. So yeah, definitely gonna be trying to complete some ninja sets here if we can find instructions. I don't see any instructions to go with these. So if we can uh, work that out, that'd be pretty awesome. Worst case scenario, we can just build them and put them up for sale built. But uh, classic ninja, don't see that every day. Another medieval blacksmith shop here in the back. It looks like it's in okay shape, no figures. Those are probably gonna be uh, for sale separately downstairs. We'll check that out later. Got a bunch of technic jumble of sets here. Got a big, like looks like a tractor with a big uh, uh, lifter arm for logging. It's pretty cool. Um, some smaller technic and speed champions vehicles. Also a uh, Star Wars, looks like a Mandalorian speeder there. So that's pretty cool. I think it's missing a piece in the corner. And most of the stuff was here from before, still needs to be kind of cleaned up. Ben has uh, had a few that are just not quite worth fixing, but he's gonna like hang on to them, save some parts. We'll see how those get processed later. Got a K2SO over in the corner here that is very nice though. This is probably the, one of the best looking uh, buildable figures from the Star Wars series uh, before they canceled that line. But K2SO looks awesome. He is also pretty collectible, so. You'll probably want to see him in that built condition versus uh, certified complete could be a little more expensive, but he might be able to be completed in that manner and be worth doing because he's uh, relatively collectible. But that looks like about it for the trade in here. We can head downstairs and check out the minifigs, unless there's a cool set or two to check out on the floor. All right, we're here in the basement. Chris did quite a bit of minifigure sorting early this morning, so a lot of them have ended up in the drawers. We can talk about some of the drawers that have filled up quite a bit and some of the things we'll be working on moving forward this week. Um, the first thing, honestly, is Ninjago because out in the cases, it's getting a little bit light. There's some gaps starting to form as we uh, sell figures and haven't had a chance to restock them. That's something we're going to be focusing on this week to really get those done as quickly as possible. And thankfully, we have a bunch of minifigures added very recently to this drawer. A lot of some of the newer Ninjago figures, you got those cool dark blue wolf looking figures. They're awesome. They'll be going out for sale, being added online. So new listings will be showing up soon, as well as classics that we've seen before and just need to restock and get out for sale for those who want them. Uh, lots of Ninjago characters there, but I do see a lot of those new ones, which is exciting. So new Ninjago coming out soon. We wanna keep up with that very popular theme. Uh, Harry Potter, we got a bunch of Harry Potter as usual. Um, you see a lot of the newer ones pretty frequently, some of these more recent characters. However, you see a couple old ones sneaking in there too. So there's an old Ron, a couple other different figures. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So yeah, Harry Potter figures of all eras and here there's another old Ron. When I say old Ron, I mean like a vintage figure, not just an old version of Ron. <laughs> But uh, over here, we've got Marvel, plenty of Marvel figures being added. I see a classic Loki back there. Uh, some new figures as well, new CMFs. Here's that uh, Goblin and Venom mix. That's pretty crazy. The, the most collectible of Spider-Mans in here too. So very cool Marvel figures being added. There's another Storm. Storm got quite the uh, story arc in the latest X-Men show, so that's a pretty cool figure. 
Um, lots of Star Wars. You got uh, some classic Star Wars figures in here. Some more modern ones, more recent ones, some collectible ones. There's a, a Christmas Chewbacca. Oh, there's an old Padme figure, old Anakin figure. Super cool. So I like seeing the uh, kind of retro early 2000s or even 90s figures in these licensed themes. It's pretty cool. More Star Wars figures. These are more of the soldier troop type here. You got lots of stormtroopers, Mandalorians. There's a, a Geonosian zombie there. There's the regular what, the regular ones with the wings right there. That's a Kashyyyk trooper, not Geonosian. Um, yeah, the Christmas Darth Vader. We also got a sand red uh, battle droid here. Very cool looking, very rare. I've also got some jetpack droids down there looking good. And I don't know where these figures are from, these yellow outfits. I think they're like pirates of some kind. Pretty cool looking. But uh, more recent Star Wars figures for sure. There's a Thrawn. Very expensive, very cool figure. Hopefully we get a Thrawn in a set upcoming. I think he's been rumored. So that's something to keep an eye on. Slightly used figures down there. Uh, CMFs in here. Licensed themes here. So yeah, tons of figures being added. Lots to look forward to. I think uh, Ninjago is going to be one of the prime directive focuses for this week but yeah and that's about it for today everyone thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe we got more videos coming out all this week we'll see ya bye bye